क्षेत्रीय कांग्रेस लीडर अजय माकिन हैज रीच सोनिया गांधीज रेसिडेंस सो दो हेक्टिक पार्लेज डेलिब्रेशन मीटिंग्स आर कंटिन्यूइंग इन द कांग्रेस कैंप वॉट इज ऑल सेट टू कम आउट ऑफ इट इज समथिंग दैट वीड हैव टू वेट एंड वॉच दिस इज टू डू विद द सिचुएशन इन द राजस्थान कांग्रेस So before that meeting with Ashok Gehlot that my colleague Pallavi was talking about we see that once again one of the observers that was sent to Rajasthan Mr Ajay Market has reached Sonia Gandhi's residence so he is also set to meet with the interim congress president Sonia Gandhi and we'd have to just wait and watch what really comes out of it we have been told that a disciplinary action is going to be meted out to certain MLAs members of the congress party for uh, disobeying uh, the party high command uh, but uh, what really comes out of this particular meeting is a wait and watch game these are visuals of mr markan reaching sonia gandhi's residence and uh, we have a reaction as well all right we'll play that out uh, a little later for you we will see if at all we can get in a word by the senior congress leader ajay markan who has so once again reached sonia gandhi's residence we are playing out those visuals constantly remember there's so much of a turmoil uh, like situation when it comes to the rajasthan congress that infighting between sachin pilot and ashok gehlot once again abundantly clear there was a, an arrangement that possibly the congress party was looking at by making ashok gehlot as a congress uh, president and with that because of the one person one post rule in the congress party they possibly thought that ashok gehlot would have to denounce his chair as the rajasthan chief minister and that could be given to sachin pilot as per an initial understanding we do not know what uh, would have happened in those meetings uh, that initially uh, really took place when it comes to the congress party however this one is all set to be really really crucial now that ajay markan has reached sonia gandhi's residence my colleague pallavi is joining us on the broadcast pallavi what can be expected Well, Mr. Markin is over here at the Congress headquarters, and in fact, you can see the scene just right behind me. I'm getting you those pictures. That's the election office of the Congress Party, and that's where the candidates always collect the nomination papers from. And we just heard what Digvijay Singh said a short while back mm. that he is definitely going to be the contender. He's going to file his nomination papers tomorrow, and tomorrow also happens to be the last day for the filing of the nomination papers, which ends at 3 p.m. Uh, with this, of course, it comes as a huge uh, uh, surprise and a last-minute entry and. are there going to be some more surprises or wild card entries which come up but also i think the bigger th- question of course which is being asked is that will the, uh, will uh, gelot opt out of the race is he waiting for the green signal because you know, the criticism also has been and there you can see pictures of digvijay singh i'm just going to stay with those pictures for a bit uh, you can see the pictures of digvijay singh actually coming out of the election office and after having collecting his nomination papers and as we have been saying that you know today uh, tomorrow of course is going to be the last day or the filing of nomination papers uh, 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 well i mean as i said i mean i think the important question is of course whether ashok gelot is going to be filing uh, his nomination papers he's awaiting for some appointment with sonia gandhi what essentially is going to tell sonia gandhi is that those mlas who did not turn up for the clp meeting were not uh, uh, told by him to do so so he's brushing his hands completely off on that entire crisis which take place in jaipur but also remember ashok's notice has been given to three leaders one hmm. the rt the chairperson two of course are the congress mlas from rajasthan will mrs gandhi find it easy to forgive and forget and move on will he get the green signal to file the nomination papers for the congress president these are those important developments that we need to watch out for so pallavi before mr ashok gelot is given that green ch- uh, the the clean slate or you know a green signal or not and the clean chit or not uh, the big question arises because ajay markan reaching sonia gandhi to meet with her one of the observers of course uh, uh, he has returned from rajasthan we have seen that a, uh, an earlier meeting has already happened so do you think those deliberations are currently underway before mrs gandhi goes ahead and meets with uh, Uh, Ashok Gehlot. In fact, these are live pictures of uh, uh, Senior Congress Leader Digvijay Singh there at uh, the AICC. He has gone there to collect his nomination papers, like my colleague Pallavi was mentioning. We are bringing you these live pictures as he's there uh, picking up his nomination papers. He's all set to file them possibly tomorrow. And uh, like Pallavi just mentioned, that eighth of October is the time uh, till a leader can go ahead and also withdraw his nomination. So. 
we'd have to just wait and watch for for that date as well my colleague pallavi continues to be with us on the broadcast yes pallavi we were talking about ajay markan's meeting with mrs sonia gandhi well, Ajay Makan and uh, Bhallikarjun Kharge were the two observers who were sent to Rajasthan. Makan, of course, happens to be uh, the uh, in charge of Rajasthan. I think another important meeting which we also need to kind of keep mind of was the one between Mr. Mukul Vasting and Ashok Gelod. Was there a message which was taken uh, across uh, by Mukul Vasting on behalf of Mrs. Gandhi uh, to uh, uh, Ashok Gelod? Remember, whenever that meeting takes place between Gelod and Sonia Gandhi, I think both the sides are going to put their point of view across. Uh, what what a certain section of the Congress party certainly has been upset about is the fact that uh, why did he dictate his term? Why were conditions placed? Uh, so if that meeting takes place between the two of them, which we do expect by the end of the day, is this the message which has been conveyed to him that you have to go with an open mind? Don't take any message across when you go uh, or any conditions attached. And one condition which everyone has been talking about is the reluctance of Ashok Gelot to let go of the chief minister's post. And even if he has to let go of it to give it to such an pilot about whom we know that there's no good equations between the two of them right and by the way what is happening currently at the congress headquarters we can also see these live visuals that uh digvijay singh is still inside what more can you tell us from what you see no, in fact, uh, in fact, Devijay Singh has just left the okay. AICC headquarters for a brief moment. He was inside the central election office. We got you those pictures when he was coming out. The procedure is very simple. You just go in, you collect your nomination forms, you fill up those nomination forms. You at least need ten uh, endorsements. So that nine delegates will actually have to endorse your nomination mm. papers. And after they endorse your nomination papers, you submit those papers. Tomorrow at 3 p.m., of course, it happens to be the last day of the filing of the nomination papers. If there are more than one contestant and it certainly seems there's going to be so that election is going to take place on 17 counting of course immediately begins results are out on 19 but 8th october is also an important day because that's also the last day for withdrawal of nominations hmm. so it's not necessary that everyone who's filing the nomination papers will actually end up contesting it all right uh, we're also playing those visuals of mr digvijay singh picking up his nomination papers along with those uh, uh, nine endorsers who were there. We also have him coming out. We will see if we can get a reaction also from uh, the senior Congress leader. And myself. Yes. What do you have to say? You will find your nomination at what time tomorrow? At what time tomorrow, sir? Well, the timing is between 11 and 3. 11. Sir, is it a tri cornered contest or a two cornered contest now? Are you going wait. to fight Ashok Gehra? Wait, wait till 4th, the date of withdrawal. Many people are saying you are going to withdraw your nomination, sir, before the date of withdrawal. You will come to know. Is it just a posturing? Sir, is it just a posturing? Kya sir, ye dikhaave ke liye aap kar rahe hain? Party mein. Sir, why don't you take me seriously? Sir, 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 Alavi, <laughs> he goes on to say, why don't you take me seriously? Uh, uh, you know, whether it is for posturing or not, that was a big question that was asked of uh, uh, Digvijay Singh. And he says, why can't you take me seriously? However, he's kept it very, very open-ended. He said, wait for the time till nominations can be withdrawn as well. Yeah, which is why we are stressing on the fact that 8th October, of course, is going to become extremely important. Uh, you know, there's nothing stopping uh, more and more candidates from filing their nominations. Uh, for all you know, there are more surprises which can come up. Uh, you know, if you remember just a few days back, Mr. Pavan Kumar Bansal, who happens to be the treasurer of the party, too, had picked up two such nomination forms. Was it for someone else and who was it for? Because he had gone on record to say that he's certainly not contesting as the Congress party president. So will there be more names who are going to be thrown up? I think we're going to get a clarity by 3 p.m. tomorrow uh, when that you know benchmark ends for the nomination papers being filed but suppose there are five people who file the nomination papers tomorrow there's no guarantee that all five of them will actually be there till the end of the race there are people who withdraw from the nomination which could happen on the 8th of october that's really the last day for the withdrawal of the nomination the real picture actually comes out on 8th i mean who are the serious contenders who are really going to be contesting the elections or is this just a smoke screen when we see the people are coming in picking up the nomination papers. Dick Vijay Singh, of course, as usual, very cryptic in his uh, uh, reaction when he said, Why don't you take me seriously? Right, Parvati, thank you.